Hello there, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket and today we're going to teach you how to fit an anti-scuff sheet. Okay, first of all we've got some introductions. We know who I am, but this is Chris. Chris has joined us, he's now our equipment manager here at Serious Cricket. It's a very serious position, so we all have to stand up tall and salute when we come and see him. He's new to the role, so you make sure you look after him, especially if you come in store. Okay, first question is how to fit an anti scuff sheet. So I'm going to ask our man, Chris, how do we fit an anti scuff sheet? So, why would we fit an anti scuff sheet? It's going to protect your bat essentially. Um, a lot of bats will come pre uh, done with an anti scuff, but if it doesn't, you might want to add one. We can do that in store for you. I'm going to show you how. So, when we sell you an anti scuff, it will be like this at 15 inches, which is perfect for a short handled bat, or it can be cut to size in terms of a junior bat as well. It's easier to show you on one of these. So essentially, in terms of fitting at home, imagine you've got this size, but what you do is you get your cricket bat, pop your cricket bat on top of your scuff sheet so, and what you're going to do first of all, grab yourself a pen, and you're just going to mark out here at the bottom the shape that you want to be cutting. And then essentially, where you want to end with your scuff sheet is where, where the stickers start. So just make a little mark on either side, essentially where those stickers lie. So what you do, you pop your bat to one side. Obviously if your scuff sheet has come ready done from us, it will be already cut to size, but I'm just going to cut that for you. Pop this out of the way. Let me get rid of that for you. Thank you, Thank Rich. You. Glamorous assistant, you see. It's a new roll I've got. Just doubling up, just to make sure you've got the right size. Again, you're just going to look for that just underneath where the stickers are, and essentially that's going to marry up with the bottom of your bat. So what we can do here is get ourselves a little bit ahead of the game. Again, yours will be sort of potentially the same size. You're just going to cut inward towards those lines, starting to give a bit of shape to the bottom of the anti-scuff sheet and then just follow that line around in a nice smooth way which is going to marry up with the base of your bat. We're cutting this for a brand new bat but obviously you can add an anti-scuff sheet to a bat that you have uh, already used but just be mindful that obviously a bat that's already used might have a little bit of scuffing towards the bottom of the bat um, so the shape might not need to be a, a straight line it's going to suit what bat style you've got. I suppose if we put it on a, an old bat, like a new bat's pretty clean, isn't it? So Absolutely. there's going to be a great stick to it. With an older bat, you're going to need to give it a little bit of sandpaper, a little bit of TLC before you Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. So therefore, it has that good contact. And if what it? we would recommend here at Sirius is that if you're replacing an old scuff sheet, that you take the old scuff sheet off. Or if you're removing one, remember to remove it horizontally across the bat rather from the bottom or from the top, which can sometimes damage the willow. Once you've removed that absolutely rich, underneath you might have a little bit of tackiness, so you probably want to be then sanding that down to get a nice smooth finish. You might want to add a little bit of oil at that point or do any repair work. Once that's done and that bat's dried out, ready to go, that's when you can pop the scuff sheet on. Okay, so once you've cut your uh, scuff sheet, um, making sure that you've got a nice straight line to go at the top just underneath the stickers, you're ready to apply it. Uh, good point, have a nice hard surface that you can rest the bat on. Just uh, get your scuff sheet away from the top here, just so you can do a little bit. Fold that back on itself so you're not sticking to the majority of the bat. And what you're doing is just lining that nice straight line up underneath the stickers with a little overhang on both edges. Once you've got that nicely lined up, you're just gonna work away the back of the plastic, work your way down the bat just making sure you try not to pick up too many air bubbles, but we can do all of those out in a minute. Just work that down until you get to the base of the bat, and that should just come down towards the toe guard for you. And then you're just stretching it nice and tight, and then just with your thumb, 
work those air bubbles if there are any out towards the outside. Once you've got it in a nice position like that, starting up again towards the stickers, you're just going to take either side of the bat with your thumbs and just gently fold that over the creases of the edges, working your way down like that. Just making sure again you don't get any air trapped in there and that scuff sheet fits nice and tightly to the blade. Work that all the way down to the bottom. Again, if you do get any air bubbles, you can work those out. And then again, just with your thumb, make sure that you get a nice tight finish. Make sure there's nothing in there. And there we go, scuff sheet applied to the front of the blade. Fantastic. So that one, that bat there didn't have a scuff sheet on. We've put one on. Um, you can buy those online. Absolutely, so you can buy them online. You can pop into the shop and we can apply that for you. If you buy online and you uh, have it dispatched to you, exactly that method that we've just described, perfect for a uh, opportunity for you to do it at home. If you want to add a scuff sheet in the shop, pop in and see us, bring the bat in with us. Uh, sorry, bring the bat in to see us. Or if you're buying a new one and it doesn't have a scuff sheet on, yeah. we can apply that just like that for you in the shop so it's ready to go uh, for when you need to use it. Fantastic. So lots of other retailers around the country will have that opportunity available for to you, um, which obviously does help to prolong the life of your bat. So uh, it's, a, it's a good investment. So if you liked the video that we've put together for you, and I hope you did, please click the old thumbs up. Do subscribe to our car channel and of course do leave a comment below. We look forward to seeing you again soon.